So take a second and think of somebody in your current or past life. I don't mean past life, past life but current or your past who uh, triggers you pretty consistently. And so if you're a therapist, it could be a client or it could be a family member, work colleague, could be friend, could be politician. If you can't think of anybody, just think of the politician. And in your mind's eye, I'm going to invite you to put that person in a very contained room with a window. And you're outside the room looking at the person. And while you're watching, have the person do the thing that gets to you and notice what happens in your body. Notice the parts that come in to protect you from this person and the impact they have on your body and your mind. So notice what's happening in your muscles, in your breathing, what happened to your heart when the protector jumped in? What kind of impulses are you having? I'm just trying to get a real felt sense of the impact of this protective part of you or parts on your body and on your mind. And then from this triggered place, look at the person through the window and notice how the person looks to you through the eyes of this part, this protector. And then tell this protector that you're not going to go into that room so it's safe for it to stand down. And ask it to pull its energy out of you, out of your body and your mind. Just reassure it you're not going anywhere near that person right now. And that person can't see you or hurt you and see if it's willing to separate. And if it is, you'll notice a palpable shift in your body and your mind. Notice the separation of that part and you'll notice and then notice what your body's like now without that part's influence. Notice your muscles and your breathing and your heart. And what impulses do you have now or not?
And then look through these eyes at the person and see if the person looks different in any way. And if you, again, you're not going into that room, but if you were, how might you relate to the person now from this place? In contrast to how you would if the protector was there. And then turn your focus to the protector. I'm going to ask a very similar question that we did last exercise. What's it afraid would happen if it didn't jump up so big with this person? In other words, what's it protecting in there? And remind it how old you are, see how it reacts. And the last question, what does it need from you to trust that it's safe to let you handle this person or people like this person? What does it need from you to learn to trust you more? When all that's complete, then again, Thank the protector and let it know this isn't going to be your last exchange with it. You keep getting to know it. And then begin to shift your focus back outside. If it helps to do that, to take deep breaths and take some deep breaths. 